This video series will help you get the most out of SolarWinds Storage Resource Monitor. This first part will cover installation and adding storage devices. The recommended server requirements for Storage Resource Monitor are 2 GHz dual processor and dual core is recommended, 8 gigabits of memory, minimum 50 gigabit hard drive space, Windows operating system, SQL Server database, Microsoft IIS, and .NET Framework. During the installation and configuration process, you will be setting up SQL Server, IIS, and configuring Storage Resource Monitor. To begin the installation of SRM, launch the installer. We recommend running the install as an administrator. For the purpose of this installation, let's select install.net framework. Once complete, enter the email address used when registering for the download. Now the install wizard will appear. To help us make SolarWinds products better, we recommend keeping the Send Usage Statistics button checked. Click Next. Select your preferred language. At this point, you can pause the install and manually configure IIS, or you can opt for automatic install using the wizard. Let's keep Auto Install and click Next. Now review and accept the terms of the EULA. Select your install location. You have the option of performing an express or advanced install. The express install will automatically install Microsoft SQL Express that can be used for your evaluation so you do not need to perform a separate installation of SQL Server. If you would like to use an existing SQL database, then select the advanced install and specify the SQL Server database and credentials. Let's select the express install. Finally, confirm your install information and click Next to start the installation. After the installation is complete, the SolarWinds Configuration Wizard will automatically launch. During the configuration process, SRM will install the necessary components, web services, and configure the SQL Express database. Click Finish to complete the configuration. Once the installation is complete, the SRM Web Console will launch in a new browser. The default username is admin with no password. Both of these can be changed later in Settings. On the Add Storage Device screen, use the drop-down menu to select a storage vendor you wish to monitor. For the purpose of this demo, we will select EMC VNX Clarion. Click Next. The next step is adding the SMIS provider. Click Add SMIS Provider. Now enter the SMIS provider information. If you want to adjust the protocol, ports, and our namespace, click on Advanced. Let's test the connection to confirm the SMIS information is correct. Click Save. Our SMIS provider is now listed. Click Next. Now, Storage Resource Monitor will query the SMIS provider and list out the storage devices it finds. Select the array you want to monitor and click Next. We have the results of the storage devices found. Click Finish. After adding the storage device, the storage summary screen will come up, and there's the array we just added. Join us for the next video as we go through the different dashboard views and configuration options of the SRM console.